हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एस आर कंप्यूटर एजुकेशन माय नेम इज शाइजू राजू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मोनो अल्फाबेटिक साइफर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल देन सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड शेयर माय चैनल विथ योर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर फैकल्टी वॉचिंग माई वीडियो शेयर माई चैनल विथ योर स्टूडेंट्स सो दे कैन गेट हेल्प फॉर देर एग्जामिनेशन in my channel i include several various algorithm videos if you are not watched other video i strongly recommend you to watch my information security playlist in that playlist i had included several algorithm videos with a detailed explanation and some tricks which will help you to score well in your examination let's start today's video today's topic is mono alphabetic cipher before introducing this mono alphabetic cipher we need to know what were the problem in caesar cipher because of which this mono alphabetic cipher was introduced if you are not watching my caesar cipher video then you can find that video somewhere here click on that link and go through the caesar cipher video so you can get clear idea about how caesar cipher algorithm works now i hope that you have already watched and i assume that you already know about the caesar cipher now the problem with caesar cipher is there are 26 possible keys possible to encrypt your plain text now only this trend since 26 possible keys are there it is very easy to break caesar cipher using brute force technique now in this mono alphabetic cipher the possible key size key space is very large that is 26 factorial that comes up to 4 multiply by 10 raise to 26 now to break this cipher using brute force attack it is little bit difficult and uh, it will consume more time as compared to caesar cipher now let's see how encryption is carried out how encryption is performed in mono alphabetic cipher encryption is very easy see what you have to do you have to substitute a another letter for all the alphabets for example you have to draw a table like this a b c d e and suppose it is up to z okay in mono alphabetic cipher you can substitute a with any other letter suppose i substitute a with c substitute b with z substitute c with s substitute d with g you have to remember one thing when you substitute this letter no letter should be repeated okay so for example you have substitute c for a then you cannot substitute c for e also this way you have to make one table now to do encryption it is very easy suppose your plain text is i am representing plain text with p cab c a b okay now encryption for doing encryption simply substitute your letter from this key which you have made okay this key in mono alphabetic cipher for c so so for cipher text we are getting for c you substitute s okay so cipher text first letter is s for a you substitute c c and for b z c the cipher text using this mono alphabetic cipher for the plain text cab is s c z it is as simple as that now for decryption you know in uh, uh, this ciphers we assume that sender and receiver both will know about the key 
okay so when you want to send a message from one computer to another computer by using mono alphabetic cipher suppose you want to send cab suppose his password is your password is cab you want to send to your friend using this mono alphabetic cipher what you need to send you are sending scz and you have to tell to your friend that my substitution is this okay for example i substitute a for c b for z c for s at the decryption part this is the encryption part okay this is the encryption part just substitute the values you have taken now for decryption what you have to do at your friends end or at other computer they will resubstitute the value for example they will see this uh, letter substitution that you have taken for s they will substitute c for c they will substitute a and for z they will substitute b so you get a plain text here cab so the encryption and decryption part is bit simpler in mono alphabetic cipher but it is difficult for an attacker to decrypt the plain text without knowing the key okay now the interesting part here it is that how the crypt analyst or how to crypt analyst or how the attacker or hacker decrypt your cipher text without knowing the key okay so for that what the attacker is doing here mono alphabetic cipher it seems that mono alphabetic cipher is difficult to break because the key size is 4 multiplied by 10 to 26 it is a very large key space but uh, at the attacker point of view it is easy for them to break the mono alphabetic cipher because attacker knows about the english frequency of letter used in english language i will tell you how the attacker is going to decrypt it without knowing the key suppose let me write the cipher text for you now suppose the cipher text that is given to attacker is this i am sure by knowing this by looking at this cipher text you cannot uh, predict what was the plain text but let us break this mono alphabetic cipher for that what you have to do you have to uh, know the knowledge you have to you need to know the knowledge of frequencies of letter used in english language in english language the most common letter used is e okay and the second most common letter used in english language when you uh, go through any text or any paragraph is t now we will use this frequency of occurrence of letter in english language we will use this knowledge to break our cipher text which has been encrypted with mono alphabetic cipher see uh, when you know this english language frequency of the letters it is very easy to break mono alphabetic cipher let us see how to break that now in our cipher text this is not the original cipher text i had written it's bit bigger three four lines are more three four lines are there if you want this entire cipher text then comment below this video and i will pin the entire cipher text text for the time being for this video i have written the two line of the cipher text okay now what you have to do you have to count in your cipher text which is the most common occurrence of letter here okay so when you count you will find that here p is occurring more okay and the second most common letter that is 
occurring here is Z. Now, you have to use the knowledge of the English language to break this cipher. What we will do, we will substitute every P here with E. Why E? Because in English language, the most common letter used is E. And here, the most common letter used is P. So, what we will do, we will substitute every P with E. Like this, we will do it here, E, again here, E. Likewise, everywhere where is the where there is P, you substitute with E. Now, what you have to do, you have to find the second most common letter used in your ciphertext. So, when you go through the ciphertext, you will find that the second most common letter used in your ciphertext is Z. But according to our English language knowledge, the most letter used after E is T. So, what you have to do, you have to substitute every Z with T. I hope you understood what you have to do. After substituting this value, what you have to do, you will get like this. You will find like this, T, H, space, then T, H, space, T, like that. You will find it here. Now, you have to again use the knowledge of English language. The most two letters used together in English language is T, H. Okay, that is called, this is called diagram, diagram, okay. Two most common letters used together is T and H. Now, in your cipher text, the two most, two letters coming together in your cipher text is ZW. So, we get a confirmation here that in your cipher text, Z is T, okay, and in your cipher text, W is H. I hope you understood this. Now, you have to again use the knowledge of English language. The most three letter appearing together in English is T, H, E. Okay, what is this? T, H, E, the. Now, see, in our cipher text, which are the most three letters appearing together? That is Z, W, P. Fine. So, we know that Z is T, W is H. Now, here P, we know that T, H and what is the next letter? E. So, we get a substitution here that in your cipher text, wherever you will find P, it is actually E. Fine? I hope you understood this. Now, again, the most four common letters used together in English language is T, H, A, T, that. And the four letters appearing together in your cipher text is Z, W, S, Z. So, from this, what you can get is wherever your cipher text, wherever Z is used, it is actually T. Wherever W is there, it is actually H. Wherever S is there, it is actually A. And wherever Z is there, it is actually T. When you do this for the entire cipher text, you will get the whole plain text as sent by the sender. I hope you understood this, how the attacker or how the crypt analyst break your cipher text using the knowledge of occurrence or frequency of letter occurring in English language. I am sure that you can now break any cipher text which has been encrypted using mono alphabetic cipher using uh, the method that I had shown you. If you got some knowledge, if you had learned something from my video, help me to reach more number of students by sharing my video and my channel with your friends and with everyone you know. If you are faculty watching this video, please share my channel with your students so they can easily understand 
the mono alphabetic cipher hope you got a knowledge of encrypting and decrypting any text using mono alphabetic cipher after watching this video if you have any doubt then please let me know in the comment and i will solve your doubts within 24 hours thanks for watching my video hope to see you soon with my next video thank you very much